Higley, Tang and Sandy are undeniably connected to the original pilgrims. They have powers and Tang even has visions of a golden cicada and Tang Sanjong was famously someone called the golden cicada in a past life. But how are they all connected to the original pilgrims? Well, Pigsy seems to have come to the conclusion that he and Sandy are descendants of Zhu Bajie and Xiao Jing, respectively. This ain't good. Looks like Sandy's trapped in the body of his demon ancestor, Shab. What's his name? Just because we look a certain way. Because our monster ancestors were, well, monsters. And then MK and Mei said that they think Tang might be a reincarnation of Tong Sanjong. It looks like Tang is trapped inside the body of the great monk Tong Sanjong! Tang's past life guy? Yeah, well, that's unconfirmed, but yeah. But I don't think Piggy and Sandy are descendants of the pilgrims. And I don't think Tang is a reincarnation of Tong Sanjong. Just because the characters themselves have come up with their own assumptions and theories doesn't mean those theories are true. Even MK said that Tang being a reincarnation of Tong Sanjong is not confirmed. And then Tang says that he thinks Zhu Bajie is Piggy's past life, which contradicts what Piggy said about being a descendant. Zhu Gang Lie, Monkey King's piggy companion! If we're really connected to the ancient warriors through our past lives, then maybe Pigsy is inside this big hog waiting to be awakened! Anyway, I think Pigsy, Tang, and Sandy literally are the original pilgrims, and their memories have just been messed with. First of all, the original pilgrims should not be dead. Tang Sanjong, Zhu Bajie, Xiao Wujing, and also Sun Wukong ate the ginseng fruit in Journey to the West. And anyone who eats the ginseng fruit has their life extended to 47,000 years. Now, we have seen the ginseng fruit in Monkey Kid, although it is not confirmed that the pilgrims ate them in Monkey Kid. However, even if we forget about the ginseng fruit and assume that they didn't eat it in Monkey Kid, all these characters the pilgrims met during their journey are still alive. So. While Tong Sanjong may not still be alive, as he is human, Zhu Bajie and Xiao Jing should definitely still be alive. And Ao Lie should also still be alive, as his uncle is alive and well. But, obviously, Mei is not Ao Lie, and I discuss what I think happened to Ao Lie in this video. Anyway, my point is, either Zhu Bajie and Xiao Jing were murdered, or they are actually alive. If they are alive, Piggy and Sandy must be the original pilgrims. And Tong Sanjong should be alive if he ate the ginseng fruit in Monkey Kid. In fact, Tang himself says that Sun Wukong is the only original pilgrim confirmed to still be alive, but his wording makes it clear that they have no confirmation that the other pilgrims are dead. However, Monkey King is the only original companion we know for sure is still alive. Now, even though Piggy decided that Sandy is just a descendant of Xia Wujing, something that instantly disproves this idea is that we have hard evidence that Sandy has some of Xia Wujing's memories. In Season 2, Episode 8, Sandy sees Huntsman beat up some monkeys, and he briefly has a flashback to a time of war. In this flashback, we can clearly see Zhu Bajie, identifiable by his clothing. Sandy can't be a descendant of Xia Wujing if he has these memories. And then, we see in flashbacks that all the original pilgrims were present at the place the Samadhi fire was split. In Season 3, when Tang and Sandy are at that place, they remark that this place feels familiar. Does anyone else feel like... We've been here before? Yeah, that's weird, right? But yeah, I know I haven't. Me neither. And yet this place feels so familiar. Nah, not me, man. This is all new to me. This means that they have some memories of being there. Oddly enough, 
May also indicated that this place felt familiar to her. This could be because of the Samadhi fire that was in her, as the Samadhi fire had obviously been there before. Anyway, I think Sandy and Tang seeming to have memories of being in this place means they are actually the original pilgrims. As in, they are literally the original pilgrims, but their memories have been messed with. I also think the same for Pigsy, although he didn't explicitly say that he also felt like that place felt familiar. We do see that Pigsy has a picture of his grandmother, as well as pictures of other relatives. And Tang said he met Pigsy's parents in Season 3. But, if some master villain did mess with their memories, perhaps they implanted fake memories of relatives, and made fake pictures of relatives. Now, I do know a lot of people think that they might be reincarnations of the original pilgrims. However, these are Buddhist characters, and Journey to the West follows the Buddhist version of reincarnation. In Buddhism and Journey to the West, you do not have any memories of your previous lives. In fact, in Chinese mythology, after you die, you drink Meng Po soup, which erases your memories. Apparently, there are stories of people who avoid drinking the soup, and those people keep their memories into the next life. However, I find it unlikely that this happened with the pilgrims. And reincarnations are not supposed to look like their previous lives. But Pigsy looks pretty much identical to Zhu Bajie, and Sandy looks very similar to Xiao Wuxing. Tang also probably looks like Tang Sanzhong, but it can be a bit hard to tell exactly how similar they look, considering the genericness of the Lego face. Now, why do Pigsy and Sandy look significantly different to the versions of Zhu Bajie and Xiao Wuxing in the Scroll of Memory? Because in the scroll, Zhu Bajie is a giant pig monster, and Xiao Wuxing's hair and skin colors are slightly different to Sandy's. However, these are their monster forms. Both Zhu Bajie and Xiao Wuxing transform into less monstrous forms after becoming pilgrims, which we see in flashbacks. And we see that Zhu Bajie's pilgrim form looks exactly like Pigsy, and Xiao Wuxing's has the exact same hair and skin color as Sandy. We also have to remember that in Amnesia Rules, after he lost his memory, Sun Wukong mistook Pigsy for Zhu Bajie and Tang for Tong Sanzhong. This could potentially be because they really are the original pilgrims. Although Sun Wukong did also mistake Mo for Xia Wuxing, but this links to my theory that Mo was created from Xia Wuxing's essence. And if Pigsy, Sandy, and Tang were reincarnations or descendants, then how come they have pretty much the same names as the original pilgrims? Some translations of Journey to the West actually translate Zhu Bajie and Xia Wuxing's names to be Pigsy and Sandy. In fact, in the Scroll of Memory, Sandy as Xia Wuxing even refers to himself as the Sandy. Additionally, Tang's name is spelt the same as Tang Sanzhong's surname. In fact, we know that the name Tang is Tang's surname because he is referred to as Mr. Tang many times. But Tang is Tang Sanzhong's surname as well because surnames in Chinese names come first. So they have the same surname, and we don't know Tang's personal name. His name could potentially literally be Tang Sanzhong, as his full name has never been revealed. And we know that them having the same surname is significant because Pigsy brought it up. While in Season 4, Pigsy thinks that he and Sandy are descendants of Zhu Bajie and Xia Wuxing, in Season 3, he said that he thought he, Sandy, and Tang all literally were the original pilgrims. And he brings up Tang's name. Uh, maybe I'm crazy, but uh, those are us, right? 
Oh, we're finally getting into it, huh? So, what do you think? I got some theories. Pigsy, what are you talking about? I met your parents. These heroes existed hundreds of years ago. There's no way those could be us. Oh, come on, Tang. A blue guy and a pig? We know May's descended from that dragon, and you literally have the same name as Tang Sanjang. Again, in that scene, Pigsy definitely is saying that he thinks that they literally are the original pilgrims. In that scene, if Pigsy had thought they were descendants, he would have said so. And if he was saying they were merely reincarnations of the original pilgrims, why would Tang argue against this by saying, I've met your parents? If they were reincarnations, the fact that Tang has met Pigsy's parents would be completely irrelevant. So, if Pigsy thought that they literally were the original pilgrims, how come he says, in season 4, that he thinks he and Sandy are instead just descendants of Zhu Bajie and Sha Wu Jing? What changed his mind? Well, the answer is obvious. At this point in season 3, Pigsy sees Zhu Bajie as a good guy, one of the great pilgrims who helped Sun Wukong. So, he is fine with the idea that he might actually be Zhu Bajie. However, in season 4, Pigsy is confronted with the fact that Zhu Bajie was initially a vicious monster and he literally gets stuck inside the memory of Zhu Bajie being a horrible monster. We see Pigsy struggle with this. He doesn't want to be considered a monster. So, he rejects the possibility that he could actually be Zhu Bajie and instead decides that he must just be Zhu Bajie's descendant. Blue ain't really my color, but uh, beats looking like that monster, Zhu Gong Lia. Technically, you be Zhu Bajie, now that you're on the journey to the West. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go comparing me to that demon. My name's just plain old Pixie. However, despite Piggy changing his mind, there is no concrete evidence that he is a descendant of Zhu Bajie. I think Piggy was correct when he said that they really were the pilgrims, but he changed his mind because he doesn't want to be a monster. Piggy has decided that he is a descendant of Zhu Bajie and that Sandy is a descendant of Sha Wu Jing. Not because he knows that is the truth, but because of his own insecurities. I also do want to mention that, even though Pigsy has decided that he and Sandy are descendants, he doesn't indicate that he thinks that Tang is a descendant of Tong Sanjang, and MK and Mei say they think Tang might be a reincarnation of Tong Sanjang. The reason the characters don't think that Tang is a descendant is because Tong Sanjong was a celibate monk. Him having children would go against his religious conviction. Sure, the writers could just say that Tong Sanjong changed his mind or broke his oath, but that would probably be rather disrespectful and would go against his character in the book. Although, technically, Tong Sanjong did almost have a kid in the book. He drank the pregnancy water, which was referenced in Monkey Kid. However, the pregnancy was prevented in the book, so he never did end up having a kid. And I don't think the Monkey Kid writers would actually want to take the pregnancy water seriously and make it plot relevant. Anyway, we've ruled out Tang being a descendant of Tong Sanjong. But could he be a reincarnation, like MK suggested? Again, the memory thing could rule this out. And, at the end of Journey to the West, Tang Sanjong became a Buddha. Buddhas don't reincarnate anymore. So, if Tang Sanjong became a Buddha in Monkey Kid, like in the original book, then Tang literally can't be a reincarnation of him. The other thing is that Tang himself seems to think he could literally be Tang Sanjong. In season 4, he pulled down this diagram, and he circled Tong Sanjong and labelled it me, question mark. But, if Piggy, Tang, and Sandy are the original pilgrims, then how did someone mess with their memories? Well, first, let me do a quick summary on why I think they definitely are the original pilgrims. Firstly, the original pilgrims should still be alive, 
They ate the ginseng fruit, which massively extends their life. And if these characters are still alive, then Zhu Bashe and Sha Wujing should also still be alive. And Pigsy, Sandy, and Tang look like the original pilgrims and have pretty much the same names as the original pilgrims. Tang and Sandy also seem to remember this place, and Sandy literally has a flashback with Zubage in it. Them having the memories of the original pilgrims wouldn't make sense if they are descendants, nor would it make sense if they are reincarnations, because you are not supposed to be able to remember your past lives. Anyway, if they are the original pilgrims, then how did someone mess with their memories? Well, the scroll of memory contains all memories, so what if someone was able to use the scroll to erase people's memories? I'm thinking that someone erased Zhu Baje, Sha Wujing, and Tong Sanxiong's memories with the scroll, and they became Pigsy, Sandy, and Tang. But I think Lady Bone Demon is responsible for this, because there is undeniable proof that she is connected to the scroll of memory. I explained a lot of this in this video, but some main points are that, at separate times, Lady Bone Demon says to Sun Wukong and Macaque that she would erase the world's memory of them. And the symbols on the scroll are the exact same symbols Lady Bone Demon uses. And they are in a real life language called Oracle Bone Script. And we know that these guys, who are guardians of the scroll, are going to be expanded on, so the scroll of memory is still very plot relevant. Now, we know that Tong Sanzhong locked Lady Bone Demon up. So, if their memories were not erased before she was locked up, when did she do it? Well, she could have started the memory erasure process before she got locked away, but it didn't take effect until later. Or, perhaps the mayor did it for her while she was locked away. Or, Lady Bone Demon somehow managed to access the scroll of memory while she was locked away and used it to erase the pilgrim's memories. When she was first imprisoned, her crypt looked like this. It was secured with five chains. However, when her crypt was opened in season one, we see her containment coffin was broken open, with only four chains securing it. If she managed to break her coffin and was no longer properly contained, she could have been powerful enough to access the scroll from afar. In conclusion, Piggy, Sandy, and Tang are definitely connected to the original pilgrims in some way, and I think they literally are the original pilgrims, but their memories have been wiped with the scroll of memory by Lady Bone Demon or someone helping her. While Pigsy seems to think that he and Sandy are merely descendants of Zhu Bajie and Sha Wujing, this is not necessarily true and contradicts with Tang who said he thinks that Pigsy is a reincarnation of Zhu Bajie. Not to mention, Pigsy initially thought they all were literally the original pilgrims, like I am suggesting in this video. It is clear that all the characters are confused and in the dark but the evidence points towards Piggy, Sandy, and Tang being the original pilgrims. Anyway, thanks for watching. I also want to mention that I have an Etsy shop that I recently opened, so feel free to check that out and feel free to like and subscribe.